guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all my favorite recipe for a flan. This is going to be a ginger flavor and of course you can switch it up and make whatever flavor you like. Look how perfect this looks. So let me show you guys how easy this is to make. Okay, first we're going to start by creating our caramel. So to your saucepan, add in the sugar. And we're going to allow the sugar to start to melt. So the sugar is starting to melt. Make sure all of the grains of sugar melt. You don't want to be biting down on those crystals. Okay, so to this, before it gets really, really dark, I'm going to add in a little bit of water. And I'm going to pour this out into my dish. Just spread it out the bottom of the dish. One tip I'll give you guys is grease your bowl before you put in that sugar syrup. I find this helps for the custard to release faster or easier. So in my bowl here, I have six small eggs. If you want to use four large, you can. And to that, I'm going to go in with some ginger. And the ginger is totally optional in this recipe. And don't worry that you'll be biting, on, biting down on the ginger because we'll be straining this once we're done mixing everything. In goes some mixed essence or vanilla essence. I'm going in with one tin of evaporated milk. And I'm going to use condensed milk and put as much or as little of the condensed milk as you want. Depends on how sweet you want this to be. Cinnamon. And if you wanted to put nutmeg in here, sure you can. I like adding in some instant powdered milk. If you didn't have it, of course you can omit it. It just helps to make it a really rich, thick custard. Now you can throw everything into your blender if you wanted to, but today I'm just going to use my hand mixer to mix this. And we're going to mix this until everything is well incorporated. Okay, so once it's finished mixed in, now we have to pour this out into our dish. Okay, so I like using a strainer when doing this. Um, so I'm gonna hold that strainer over my bowl and I'm gonna pour in my milk mixture. What this does is it takes away all of the pieces of ginger so you don't have to bite down on the ginger. I just like the flavor of it. Now for this, you want to put it, you see how I have one container and then I have the custard in here? We're going to create a water bath, so you do need both of them. And we're going to pour some hot water in. So you're looking to come up about half of the way. Like that. And once you have your water bath, now you can put it now or when you put this, in, put this into the oven, then you can place it if you think it's going to be a little bit tricky to get it into to the oven when it's filled. So this goes into my oven 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40-45 minutes or until the custard has set. Okay guys, the custard is finished. I'm just going to take it out of the water bath and let it rest. You want it to cool down completely before trying to unmold this because if you don't let it cool, when you try to unmold it, it may just fall apart or split into a half. So once it's cooled down, then I'll go ahead and unmold it so you guys can see. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Look how perfect this plan looks. 
just look at the consistency of the flan and to get a nice flan like this without too many holes in it that's what the powdered milk does it makes it set up really well so you get a nice a smooth flan so if you guys try this recipe comment down below and let me know what you think thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video stay safe guys